Say hello to my little friend and find out how he helps my business grow. Hi, I'm Natalie Lucier, your business strategist, and this is Off the Charts, where we help you reimagine what's possible in your business. Now, this episode of Off the Charts is not about feng shui or how to use a cat figurine to attract more money into your business. Today, I'm talking about the power of talking to inanimate objects and how it can help you improve your business. Let me first explain the definition of a software engineering term called rubber duck debugging. And no, you don't have to be a programmer to benefit from rubber ducking. Here's how it works. As a programmer, you're too close to your code, and if you run into an issue, you're just not sure how to solve it because you are so in it. Sound familiar? As business owners, we experience the same thing because we're so busy in the day-to-day of our business to see how we can solve certain things. But one common way to solve a problem in your code is to explain what it's supposed to do and what it's currently doing now. This practice usually helps resolve discrepancies and bring issues to light just by explaining how it's supposed to be and how it is and the difference between the two. Interestingly enough, programmers learned that they could explain their code to a non-programmer and get just the same insights as if they were talking to another coder. And that's where the process of talking to a duck came to life. Now you can pick your own duckies, teddy bears, or any type of figurine you want, but the most important thing is you want to start talking your problems out so you can find new perspectives. The way that you'd explain something to a rubber ducky is totally different to how you'd explain it to yourself, and that's what can help you dislodge your existing thinking about how things are supposed to be. Einstein said that we cannot solve our problems with the same thinking that created them. That's exactly what we're doing when we're talking to these objects. The trick is remembering to do this when you come up against an issue. Oftentimes when I'm programming, I seem to just wake up a couple of hours into my debugging and realize, wow, if I had just taken a step back and really thought things through, instead of trying to muddle my way around it, I would have solved it much faster. But you don't have to just wait till you come up against a problem in your business to use this technique. Why not schedule a time to talk to your duck every week to get some perspective? And if talking to inanimate objects is still a little bit too weird for you, you could totally schedule time to talk to a friend, a mastermind buddy, or a coach, or even just journal to see what comes up. Look, I get it, this practice might sound strange, but I challenge you to use it the next time that you come up with a big problem that you need to solve, or a decision that you need to make, or maybe even a programming bug. Now, I wanna know if you've ever experienced this before. You started talking something out and you found your own solution. If you have, leave a comment below and let us know so we can all share in your experience. Want more? Please join me and your fellow go-getting entrepreneurs inside the Heart Quarters Insiders, where we're diving even deeper on all the skills and money-making strategies to help you grow your business. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up on YouTube and make sure that you're subscribed to the channel so you never miss any upcoming episodes of Off the Charts.